Hey guys, Pitsy Master Jedi here for another Star Wars figure review. Today I'm going to give you a look at the Imperial Knights comic pack. Now this, usually on Amazon, goes for about $50. And I actually picked it up from my local comic book shop for only $20, so I lucked out big time. Uh, it does come with two figures, which are Antres Draco and Gainer Craig, or Krieg, depends on how you pronounce it. I pronounce it Craig. And it does come with the two figures and a comic book. Now, two figures included in this pack are this guy right here and this guy right here. She comes in a different pack. You can see it's a full comic book. It's not like some two-page thing. It's actually really long. And it's actually a really cool storyline. And I don't want to give it away right now. Let's slide that back in. And then on the back you have a little bio on them. And you have the two figures and you have some other comic packs. You have Kate Skywalker and Darth Talon, I believe. You have Dengar and friend Sasha, I believe. Seisha, I don't know. And then you have Princess Leia and Toby Dalla. There's a lot of Mandalorian armor I'm seeing. You see Mandalorian armor on the second guy with the Leia pack. The second guy with the Dengar pack and Kate Scott actually has Mandalorian armor under his jacket. So, on to the figures. I'm gonna start off with my favorite of the pack, Entry Draco. But he looks, the facial expressions that he does in the comic book are very reminiscent of Anakin, and it's very similar to Anakin. These guys take place between 44 years after Return of the Jedi and 130, no, 44 years after A New Hope and 138 years after A New Hope. So, these guys aren't Sith or Jedi. They are considered gray in the line of force, but the dark side and light side. They kind of are on their own side. Very cool figure. You can see the hoods. The only wrap I have about this is the hoods are way too big. So you can kind of fold it back like that the best you can. I know Sith Lord 229, I should cut them off. I, I, you know, I was thinking about that, but you know, sometimes they, I can't get the hoods to look pretty cool on them. But you can see that facial sculpt is very reminiscent of Anakin. Yeah, he's not showing sure off camera, but he has two scars going down the side of his head. Articulation one, why it's actually has really good articulation. He has ball joint head, ball joint shoulders and elbows, swivel wrists, swivel hips, swivel waist, ball hinge knees, and ball hinge ankles. So I was real surprised. And the lightsaber is actually pretty cool. It is the old removable hilt, so I suggest super gluing it in because they do fall out a lot. And then this light, I know they look white, but they're supposed to be like a silver blade. Silver lightsaber blade. But this light, usually just look transparent, but the light is catch catching it on camera, make it look very silver. But he has two Imperial Signias. He has one on his shoulder, and he has one on his right gauntlet. So that's very cool. Second figure is Gainer Craig, which the hood actually works on him pretty good because he has a ponytail. And me personally, I don't know what it is, you know, it's just a ponytail I don't like. It's just something about the ponytail that kind of bugs me with this guy. But you can see the hood actually works pretty good on him because he has the ponytail back to kind of hook it. So as you can see, I don't know, my, I like him equally, but I think I like Andrew's Draco just a little bit better because Anakin I like it a lot more. So this is the exact same body sculpt as... Entry is Draco, same as Spirit Signet, same everything, the only difference is the head sculpt. You can see it's a totally different head sculpt than him. See, so he does have the point count back. Very cool. Now, this is kind of like these guys kind of have like an Ant and Obi Wan relationship. Uh, Draco is kind of the more running in battle and not looking. He is the more Obi-Wan style, kind of got to think stuff out. So the same exact head sculpt. i just give you a look at the lightsaber hilt. It's actually pretty cool for lightsaber. All Imperial Knights have the same lightsaber hilt. Kind of looks like a little like Qui-Gon Jinn's with the grip that takes a path to hilt. And the same transparent blade with the same removal blade. So yeah, I highly suggest picking up this combat pack if you can get it for the Right amount of money. It is worth the 50 bucks, but if you can get it for cheaper, it's way better to do it that way. So this is 50 Master Jedi. May the Force be with you.